Hello, this is Surprise Fighter, and welcome back to Soma. Uh, when we last left off, I had just beat another robot to death. Okay, I didn't beat him to death. I tased him to death. Um, in order to, you know, take his little chip thing and put it in this Zeppelin so we can fly away, hopefully to safety. It's not going to be safety. So let's go ahead and get this flight going. I'm sure this is going to be non-eventful flight. Real simple stuff. the Universal Studios globe? That was really stupid. I'm so sorry. Okay. Inky blackness. Can't see anything. Nice and creepy. Oh, that's where I got the little stun gun thing that I killed the robot with. Oop. Little bit of a lag out there. Okay. Oh, a distant read. Are we going? You're really good back there, Simon. Lower. We got a slight delta detour, but we're back on track. Yeah. We should touch down on a cargo platform just outside Beta. Yeah, that's then probably not happening. Then we just head happening. inside, grab the dump back, and head down the abyss, four thousand meters. That's a long way. We don't have to worry though, because with the dump back. The Ark could have been in the Mariana Trench. It'll hold for anything. That's great. And then we can start listening to other people when they talk, because that's how conversations work. What? Oh. Huh. Sorry. I just can't stop thinking about what we've become. It's clear that we're no longer human. But then how can I feel like Simon? How can I feel like anything at all? I mean, technically, I don't have any ears. No mouth. Christ, that's a weird thing to think about. I mean, I'm making sounds. I'm still saying things. You sure are. <sighs> okay. Your new body most likely has senses similar to those you had as a human. Huh. And your mind, only knowing one way to perceive the world, superimposes that skill set on top of your new features. So my mind is covering it up, pretending nothing's different. If it didn't, you'd probably be incapable of interacting with the world at all. And the stress would either kill you or make you go insane. So I've comforting. found a good balance between awareness and ignorance. Does that mean I shouldn't think about this stuff, or are my thoughts actually making me cool? Could I tip the balance by suddenly gaining some insight and then go insane? I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, we have real things to deal with. Saving mankind, remember? Speaking of which, we're closing in on Theta. I'll eject the Omni tool. As always, don't forget to take me with you. Uh, Cap, before you go, the artificial intelligence you mentioned in the escape vessel? Uh huh, yeah, the warden unit, the WoW. Is it the WoW's fault that we're like this? I mean, it seems like something an unreliable AI would do. I suppose it set the ball in motion, but it's not directed with purpose. <sighs> it's really complicated to explain how machines think, Simon. Concentrate on getting inside Theta, okay? See you soon. thing. Okay, so surprisingly that went without a hitch. Just a little bit of uh, story and character development, which is fine. That's fine. It's important. So moving forward, I guess this is Theta. Is there another Kate system here? Or Kate bot? However you want to call that. What are you? Of course. This thing on? Can everyone hear me? Go ahead, Strom. Listen up, all members of staff. The art project has caused a lot of arguments the last few months. I'm not going to pretend I understand 
what the hell Sarang talked about, and how his continuity suddenly made sense to kill yourself. For the fucking love of God, or whatever you think is important, don't kill yourself. This place is miserable enough. Don't force your friends to clean up your blood. Rest in peace. Quality. Good? Beautiful, sir. Uh, all right, everyone. Show's over. Get back to work. He, uh... He doesn't deal with people well, does he? No, he does not. Okay, so... There's a weird little glowy thing. Ooh. Thank you, Catherine. Wait. Am I already here? Hello? Who is that? Mark? No. We haven't met before. Is this Mark? I think we're safe. Oh. Huh. I was so worried something had gone wrong. What's your name? Robin Bass. Theta Field Service Technician. Nice to meet you, Robin. How did you get here? I got scanned. Like the others. And then I killed myself. At least I think so. I can't remember that part. How does that work? Did dying get you into the Ark? Wow, you're definitely not from Theta. Let me guess, Omicron? Wasn't sure Catherine would be able to scan you guys. You're lucky. There was a lot of talk about this at Theta. The idea is, when you're activated in the Ark, there's basically two of you, right? One human, one living scan in the Ark. You don't want your copy to survive you. You yourself want to survive on the Ark. If the human you dies before the scan is initiated, or closely after, you yourself would live on in the Ark. Amazing, right? Huh. Did Catherine put you up to this? Killing yourself? Catherine Chun? <laughs> no. I don't think you understand. Good. She just did scans and put them into the Ark. I hope I get to meet her soon, so I can apologize. She always got into trouble with Strawmeyer when someone killed themselves. I think she's okay with it. Where is everyone? I thought there would be like 40 or 50 people here. I don't know. Uh, I'll let you know if I see anyone. Robin, I'm not sure how to say this. What? This... This is... Yeah? Pretty amazing, right? I mean, the Ark. Yeah, it's great. Catherine and the guys have really pulled through. Huh. They saved us all. Oh, that sucks. Like, would you want to live on like that? I don't know. That's... crazy. I can figure this out. Let's see. Is there an instruction manual? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll turn you. Oh, you come out. Why? Oh, okay. Interesting. Did that work? Not quite. There it is. that doesn't really illuminate anything. We're just gonna turn you off. You're pointless.
freeze up there. I guess loading in the next level. Oh, lovely. Yeah, very lovely. Uh, we'll try you first. Okay. I've probably got to get a chip from somewhere before I can access something like that. Just knowing how this game tends to work. Okay, I'm sure I can break that. We'll just pick up this little thing, and probably not the best tool for breaking out a window. But you're going to work. You're going to work, dang it. Yeah. My head just phased through that glass. I'm magic. Okay. So, is there... Okay, I can plug you in. Awesome. We're here? Yes, ma'am. We're here. Okay, great. Time to hijack ourselves a submarine. There will be nothing stopping us when we have the done that. You guys sure have a lot of machines and vehicles down here. What makes this one so special? It's the only transport that can go into the abyss without cracking like a can of soup. If this awesome. is one of a kind, then how did they get the Ark down the abyss in the first place? That's a good question. I suppose they did it the hard way and just... Walked. I didn't realize that was an option. Kat, what's it like inside the Ark? Is it like a movie or a virtual reality? No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant temperature, clean hmm. air, good weather. So people in the Ark just walk around pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend. It's perfectly immersive. And it can just sustain itself? Yes. Huh. Attached to a probe fueled by solar panels, it could survive for thousands of years. That's amazing. Just thinking about the Earth being what it is, and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... it's... Heroic? Uh, at least it feels worth doing. Here we go. The Dunbat! Dunbat. Uh, damn it. I knew it was too good to be true. What's wrong? It's... It's quarantined. Hold on. Huh. We need a security cipher. How bad is it? It's we don't write these things down type of bad. Maybe someone's still around who could tell us what it is. Hmm. Sure. Let's go with that. I'll just unlock the other doors for you so you can explore the station. Cool. See, I've been going under the assumption that that was called the dung bat. Also, so, and this is just kind of working through ideas. I'm just curious, what if my consciousness was already on the Ark? And so I've been brought back to the real current day world that's all underwater and whatnot for who knows what reason. That just seems like something this game would pull. Nope, I need to click on stuff. That's what I just clicked. Okay, so I'm here. None of this actually tells me anything. Awesome. What Looks the like all your friends moved downstairs. Why abandon the gate? And the habitat? That's so strange. I don't like this at all. Okay, I'm not reading all that. So we're just gonna go. Walk through the door like a civilized human being. See what's on the other side here. Did that have to happen like as I walked up on it? It scared the crap out of me. Oh, goody. I promise 
two. I will do that every time I see one. Oh, what's that noise? Okay. Into the little living quarters here. Anything important? Would not seem so. Okay. Turn on Why the would they all leave this floor? I don't get it either. It's like they all just cleared out. Hello. Oh. 100% unnecessary. What's so interesting downstairs? Just labs and offices. Maybe the shuttle station. Should we go check? Rather not. Got a bad feeling about this. Okay, that's a stairway down. Why are all these locked? What are you? Oh, that's like rewiring of uh, whatever that thing I have is. I should probably know what that is. Maybe they wanted to keep close to the shuttle station in case something went wrong. You really stuck on that one. I'm just worried about my colleagues. Could we not? Whew. Hey, that's my room. You want me to bring something? Oh. A souvenir? No, it's just memories. Oh, look at the little. Why would you have a bear like this? Your teddy bear could use some repairs. Toby always breaks. He's top heavy, so he keeps falling over. Huh. Is this important? Mojin retested a machine today. It was clearly corrupted by WAU, but more importantly, it was assembled in a seemingly primitive way, like someone had specifically created it for WAU to steal. When activated, the machine mimicked the room and read along with it. At some point, she was scanned and then loaded a simulation inside the digital space. Presentation shocked reading was quickly terminated. It scares me how much it reminds me of my AR capsule. Richards gave me a set of AI templates I haven't seen before. Unfold or unfolded one of them to make a new friend for Capsule Catherine and her gang of legacies. New way to simulate turbulence makes the weather system so much better. Implemented read didn't go well. Try new or er, new try with read. Read won't play nice with others. She is too real. Interesting. What's the little projector? Looks homemade. That's my attempt at building a vivarium. It's kind of a proto arc. Huh. Okay. I feel like going further is not the best plan here. I'm just so ready to open one of these and for something horrifying to come out. What do you mean, who? What even is that? Why do I keep saying that that way? One of those little things. Dear friends, when you read this, I will have entered the Ark. I'm going to read it this way. 
Um, as I've explained, this is accomplished by ceasing to live as your scan is being completed. Um, do not frighten Catherine. I will do this in secret by folding cyanide salts into chewing gum and placing it in my mouth before seeing her. When I hear her announce completion, I will bite down, quickly causing my own demise. When you discover the truth behind my death, know there's no tragedy to mourn, for I am victorious. I advise you all to do the same and join me inside the Ark. Sincerely, Mark Serang. Hmm. I just... That seems rough. At best. Okay, last two doors. Interesting. Oh, I hate cats. What? What am I hearing? Oh, holy cow. No, thank you. Like those noises. Uh. What the hell are you doing? I know it looks bad, but it makes me feel a lot better. Helps me focus. That's. I, I mean, that's the wow you're hooking up to. I need it, okay? I huh. wouldn't have made it this far without it. <sighs> Let's just keep going. Okay, so that's what the wow is what they're calling it. Why does that insist on happening every time I step into this room? Okay, before I move forward, I just want to go up here and check this to ease my mind. Oh, it's light in here. Oh, it's one of these... This is where I did my scan. Okay. And all the others, I suppose. You don't remember? My scan was the first. Had to test the scanner before I could start making promises. Huh. So what I want to know is, like, am I in one of these? And I just feel human? Or is there, like, some sort of like humanoid robot that I'm in. I feel like it's probably one of these. Okay. That one's of no aid to me. Data buffer. Uh, Strasky, come in. I need help in the lab, the scan room. What happened? Conrad killed himself after the scan. Jesus. There might have been more to that. Ah, I see. Ooh, what? Check the terminal. I just want to make sure. Okay. Uh... Uh, Nanami co uh, composition... Compress... Let's see. Berg... Jared. Munchy. How did this... What is this? Kath, what is this? Why do you have a file of me? You are one of Dr. Munchy's templates. A legacy scan. What? So did I... What's a legacy scan? They're historic templates for AI construction. Any self-respecting engineer wouldn't use legacies anymore, but they're great for learning. They come with every development kit. So, my brain scan turned into a template for artificial intelligence. You should be proud. 
So much for that mystery. No magic or time travel needed. I was here all along. Waiting for someone to shove a picture of my brain into a suit and hit the power button. Huh. So am I supposed to believe that I died during the scan? And so my consciousness is this. Now. Wow. Welcome to my place. When I started the art project, I pretty much lived in this lab. Cozy. Wow. This is really interesting. This is where I would store the arc scans. Are they similar to my legacy file? No, yours is flatter, if that makes sense. Less dynamic. Thanks. That makes me feel much better. An intact memory chip. If we're lucky, we might be able to extract the cipher from it. Okay. Cool. Does that mean I don't have to go down the creepy down place? We'll run back real quick, just to be sure. I don't like that rumble. Okay. Forget being civilized. The laboratory the terminals have lost contact with the mainframe. We need to reset the router downstairs. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. The terminals in my laboratory have lost connection to the mainframe. Uh, Head downstairs and reset the router. I don't wanna. Is this one still locked? Oh, I can't open it without my Omni tool. Okay. I'm sure there's something unsavory down here, so be prepared, because I'm not. Every time. Except this time it's not coming Simon, back on. The last report filed by the staff mentioned struggling with something called a proxy. The proxy we killed was blind, just like Acres, but it listens. Careful, we spotted two more by the infirmary. What do they look like? Not sure. It seems to be human enough to pass for a crew member at a distance. All dark and ultimately faceless seems to be what to look out for. Keep my eyes open. <sighs> okay. Well, that doesn't help. In that case, how do I go down the stairs? something out here huh I'll see if I can pick up Catherine here no just a chat Okay. Hmm. We'll try going down. Actually, you know, for the sake of keeping these under 30 minutes, or at least close to, um, I'm going to end this episode here. I'll probably record the next one immediately, but we'll go ahead and just end this one here. So if you've enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next video. I'll see you in the next video. That's like twice I said that with that weird upturn, so I can't talk. I've never been able to. See you in the next video.